pilot whom the Russians have deified as the man of the century arrives at the airport outside of Moscow for his first public appearance. Questions that have arisen in the West about the validity of his flight have no place here today as the crowds go wild over the first man to conquer space. Major Gagarin's initial function is a long red carpeted walk to the platform where Khrushchev greets him. Gagarin puts party first by thanking the communists for the opportunity. Khrushchev interrupts with a Russian bear hug and kiss as Yuri's pictures are waved. There have been grumblings in Russia about the cost of the space program, but that is forgotten today as tens of thousands pour into Red Square to get a glimpse of their hero. He stands atop Lenin's tomb and receives their accolade. There have been many unanswered questions about the fight, but there's no question of who is number one man in Russia today. Thousands of Pennsylvanians turn out in Harrisburg to welcome home their first citizen, Dwight D. Eisenhower. The former president, looking tanned and fit after a six-week vacation in California, is returning to his first permanent home in 45 years, his farm at Gettysburg. First, however, there's this friction in front of the Capitol building for Ike and Mamie from affectionate neighbors. 